فإذا أردت أن تكون سلفيا حقا فعليك أن تدرس مذهب السلف بإتقان وتعرفه ببصيرة ثم تعمل به إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد ألا فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار وبعد This khutbah has been compiled from the works of Sheikh Al-Allam ibn Uthaymin رحمه الله Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he mentions to us many signs of the day of judgment coming near and from the major of these signs is something mentioned in Surah Al-Kahf which many of us would have read today Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنْ ذِي الْقَرْنَيْنِ قُلْ سَأَتْلُوا عَلَيْكُمْ مِنْهُ ذِكْرًا They ask you about Dhul Qarnayn. Say, I shall recite to you a part of his story. So who is Dhul Qarnayn? He was a king in his time, close to the time of Musa alayhi salam. His name was Dhul Qarnayn, due to him having kingdomship of the east to the west, and also due to him wearing a headwear which had horns on it, like the crowns of the kings. And also Dhul Qarnayn, Allah gave him kingship and a means to everything. This is why Allah says in the Quran, إِنَّا مَكَّنَّا لَهُ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَآتَيْنَاهُ مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ سَبَبًا Allah well established him in this earth. And of course, Dhul Qarnayn was a righteous king. He would always travel and check on his people to see who is in need. And on this particular occasion, فَأَتْبَعَ سَبَبًا He was following away. He was on a journey. حتى إذا بلغ مغرب الشمس وجدها تغرب في عين حمئة. Until when he reached the place, the sun was setting. He found it setting on a spring of what looked like black muddy water. ووجد عندها قوما. And he found some people there. And of course, Dhul Qarnayn was a just king and righteous, and he would never oppress anyone. Rather, he would say. أَمَّا مَنْ ظَلَمْ فَسَوْفَ نُعَذِّبُهُ ثُمَّ يُرَدُّ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِ فَيُعَذِّبُهُ عَذَابًا نُكْرًا Whoever does wrong, we shall punish them, and thereafter they will be brought back to their Lord, and then receive a severe torment. But he would also say, وَأَمَّا مَنْ آمَنَ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا فَلَهُ جَزَاءَنِ الْحُسْنَىٰ وَسَنَقُولُ لَهُ مِنْ أَمْرِنَا يُسْرًا Those who do righteousness and believe, they will be treated kindly and they will have a great reward. So this shows how just Dhul Qarnayn was. He was just and fair and righteous. So then he carried on with his journey. This time he reached the rising place of the sun. He found it rising on a people who had no shelter against them. And some of the ulama even say they had no clothing, indicating that he is now far away from civilization. So Dhul Qarnayn carried on in his way. And this is when it got interesting. And bear in mind that Dhul Qarnayn is traveling to parts of the world he has never been to before. Parts of the world that civilization has not reached. وَوَجَدَ مِن دُونِهِمَا قَوْمًا Now he reached between two great mountains and there he found a tribe of people. 
They could barely understand the word and it can also be read They cannot also understand you However, Dhul Qarnain was able to communicate with them due to him having a whole kingship and the best of the interpreters amongst his army So the message they were actually trying to say to the king was a complaint They said Ya Dhul Qarnain they said, Dhul Qarnain, indeed, Ya'juj and Ma'juj, Gog and Magog, are causing great corruption in the land. Ya'juj and Ma'juj, they are two different tribes from Bani Adam, from the offspring of Nuh alayhi salam. And they are humans just like us, not as some people think that they are millions of short people or they are giants. No. Shaykh Uthameen said, this comes from the superstitions of Bani Israel. So they are humans just like us, and they only differ the same way each country differs in their looks. Except they cause much corruption in the land. And to prove that they are humans just like us, it comes in the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, when he informed that most of the people in Jahannam, in the hellfire, are yet George and George. He said, أَبْشِرُوا فَإِنَّ مِنْكُمْ رَجُلْ وَمِنْ يَأْجُوجَ وَمَأْجُوجَ أَلْفِ That for every one of you, one thousand of يَأْجُوجَ وَمَأْجُوجَ will be in the hellfire. So they are humans just like us from Bani Adam, except they cause much corruption and fitna in the land. And Uthaymeen rahimahullah, he would say, الْإِفْسَادُ فِي الْأَرْضِ يَعُمْ كُلَّ مَا كَانَ غَيْرَ صَالِحِ That their corruption is everything which is evil. They corrupt with everything, killing anyone. They will slaughter, they will deviate, they will commit shirk, and they do not care about anything. No morals whatsoever, completely uncivilized. And the ulama also say about them, وَالْمَعْلُومُ عَنْهُمْ أَنَّهُمْ قَوْمٌ أَقْوِيَاء They are very strong people. Even Isa alayhi salam, who will be present in that time, will not be able to kill them. So going back to the ayah, the people complained to Dhul Qarnain. They asked him to block them off from the rest of the world. They were so desperate, they even offered to pay him money. Shall we not pay you in order that you can build for us a wall between us and them? But of course, Dhul Qarnain doesn't need money as he has a whole kingdomship. Instead, he asked for quwa, and in this ayah meaning quwa badaniyah, he asked them to help with manpower. And so they proceeded to build this wall. The king asked for some pieces of metal to be brought to him. He said, Atuni zubar al hadid. So they built the wall from metal, and then they further reinforced it. Qala atuni ufrig alayhi qitara. He then said, bring me qitara to pour over it. Qitara meaning, an nuhas al-mudhab, melted molten copper. And this is what they reinforced the wall with, making it completely solid. فَمَا اسْتَطَاعُوا أَنْ يَظْهَرُوا So Ya'juj and Ma'juj were made unable to dig through it, due to it being too high and too strong. وَمَا اسْتَطَاعُوا لَهُ نَقَبَا وَزِيَادَةُ الْحَرْفِ تَدُلُّ عَلَى زِيَادَةِ الْمَعْنَى The extra letter, the, the extra ta emphasizes the meaning. Meaning they cannot whatsoever dig through it. But nevertheless, they will still try and dig through this wall each and every single day. Even right now, they are trying to dig. So this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved the rest of this world from Ya'juj and Ma'juj. And Dhul Qarnain eventually realized how corrupt the state of this world could have been with them around. So he showed gratitude to Allah by saying, هَذَا رَحْمَةٌ مِّن رَبِّي This is a mercy from my Lord. But Allah also informed him that this wall will not stay up forever. فَإِذَا جَاءَ وَعْدُ رَبِّي جَعَلَهُ دَكَّا وَكَانَ وَعْدُ رَبِّي حَقَّا But when the promise of my Lord comes, he will bring down this wall. Meaning, Ya'juj and Ma'juj will be released and they will come out. And when they do, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. وَهُمْ مِنْ كُلِّ حَدَبٍ يَنْسِلُونَ They come down swarming from every hill. وَتَرَكْنَا بَعْضَهُمْ يَوْمَئِذٍ يَمُوجُ فِي بَعْضٍ Surging like waves on one another. And this happens after the death of the Dajjal. 
and they will be so many in number and to give an idea of how many they are when one group of them come across a small sea they will drink from it and finish it all so when the next group of them come to that same sea known as Buhayr al-Tabariya one of them will say لَقَدْ كَانَ بِهَذِهِ مَرَّةً مَا they think they say I, I think there used to be some water here so just one group of them can finish a whole sea indicating how large they are in number so they cause much corruption when they travel through the earth stealing abusing killing everyone on their way and once they believe they've killed everyone they will say Qaharna ahl al -ard. we have conquered this earth but they do not know that Isa alayhi salam is with a group of believers in the mountain away from all the fitna and Isa alayhi salam he makes a dua against these people. So how does Allah rid them from the earth? فَيُرْسِلُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمُ النَّغَفْ فِي رِقَابِهِمْ حَتَّى يَمُوتُ مِيتَةَ رَجُلٍ وَاحِدٍ حَتَّى تُنْتِنَ الْأَرْضِ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He sends a disease upon their necks known as an nagaf In English, a disease called myiasis, which is like parasites in the neck. Dude. And it kills them all together. They die at once leaving their dead bodies causing a smell on the earth so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cleanses the earth by sending their bodies to the sea wallahu ala kulli shay'in qadir wa kana wa'du rabbi haqqa and the promise of our lord is ever so true wa sallallahu wa barik ala nabiyyina muhammad Bismillah walhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah An Zainab bint Jahsh radiyallahu anha anna nabiy sallallahu alayhi wa sallam istayqadha min nawmih wa fi riwayah istayqadha fazi'an muhmarran wajhuh wa huwa yaqul la ilaha illa Allah waylun lil arab min sharrin qad iqtarab futih al yawma min radmi ya'juj wa ma'juj the Prophet ﷺ woke up one day and it was said he was red in his face and he woke up shocked. He said, Woe to the Arabs, a warning to the Arabs from a great evil which has come closer. The barrier of Ya'juj and Ma'juj has opened by this much. So Zainab radiallahu anha she asked him, Ya Rasulullah, anahliku wa fina salihun. She asked him, O oh, Messenger of Allah, would we be destroyed even though there are righteous people amongst us? He said, Naam, ida kathur al khabath. He said, Yes, if the immorality increases too much. So look how the Prophet ﷺ was alarmed by this news, which shows that we should also be concerned. If this barrier or this wall was to open a small amount during his time, then of course by now it would have opened even more. And we should not be surprised that there are these tribes living amongst us today that have yet to be discovered. Even now, with all the technology we have, scientists are only starting to discover new places on this earth with inhabitants actually living there. Just like in the 90s, in Vietnam, they discovered a huge cave with people living there in seclusion. And only a few months ago in China, they discovered a huge massive sinkhole with scientists saying they believe there are species living there. Of course it does not mean yeah, Georgia and Georgia are particularly there, but it goes to show there are still places on this earth yet to be discovered. And sooner or later, they will come across the place of yeah, Georgia and Georgia. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us. Allahumma ba'id alayna shar wa ja'alna mimman yastami'oon al-qawla fa yattabi'oon ahsanah. Allahumma ja'alna min ahli al-jannah. مع النبيين والصديقين وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله